You can give up all the sugar in the world and still get cavities. Why? Because your mouth bacteria are out of balance. Every dentist will tell you to give up sugar, give up soda, give up everything. And, and it's health wise, I'm not in the discussion about health. I am in the discussion about teeth because you can give up all the sugar. You can go to such ends to make sure you cut out sugar from everything and still end up with cavities. How can that be? Because it is impossible impossible there is impossible to have a healthy diet and exclude all sugars there's sugar in fruits there's sugars in vegetables there's carbohydrates that break down into sugars in potatoes and other vegetables it is impossible just take it from me it isn't even healthy to cut out all sugars and even the tiniest amount of sugar one tiny grain of sugar in something like ketchup or mayonnaise or something you didn't even know will spark the growth of the bacteria that you don't really want in your mouth. It's a constant thing. So how do you get around this? You nurture the good bacteria in your mouth. You take a different approach. I'm not suggesting eating sugar all day long. Keep it under control at meal times. But I honestly don't care what my patients eat at meal times. I do, but I don't. Because if they end the meal with a tooth protective food, and xylitol is the easiest tooth protective food. It's not the only one, but it's the one I can give globally to pretty much everybody. End the meal with a little bit of xylitol because it will be tooth protective. It will feed the good bacteria and it will inactivate the plaque bacteria. The difference that makes in your mouth in a few months, you should be able to feel it all for yourself, the difference it makes. And then if you keep at that consistently, a tiny amount of xylitol regularly every day, you won't believe the difference it makes.